Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'll be discussing the Glacial Spike build for the Frost Mage in Antorus. It has been a while since I've seen any Frost Mages really play this pack. This is probably because of the nerf that was given to the new tier 21 Force set in October of last year, where Frostbolt was taken out of the Force set bonus and only Ice Lands remained. So sadly enough we do need some Warforged tier 20 pieces for this build to really shine. However I find the Glacial Spike build a lot of fun, so stick tight and I'll tell you all about it. How does the Glacial Spike build work? When we are talented into Glacial Spike, we obtain the ability to make a Glacial Spike from our 5 stored icicles. For every Frost Ball that you cast, you get an icicle. This Glacial Spike can crit for an insane amount of damage. However, for the Glacial Spike to be a guaranteed crit, we need a Brain Freeze proc, which gives us the chance to shatter our Glacial Spike with a Flurry proc. When we advance to the part where we discuss the rotations, I will show you some tricks you can use to let your Glacial Spike crit without a Brain Freeze proc. However, I warn you guys in advance that this build relies on a lot of RNG because you need those Brain Freeze procs to occur at the right time. But if everything goes well, this is by far one of my favorite specs. Going over the legendaries. With the Glacial Spike build, the legendaries stay the same as with the Thermal Void one, except on some bosses the legendary head can be very useful. So you can pick and choose out of these three legendaries. Shard and the legendary bracers, or the legendary head. Of course, Sephus can be good on bosses with an interrupt rotation and Mythic Plus. What trinkets should you choose? With the new Antorus raid comes a whole new trinket lineup, so I'll give you the best in slot ones from top to bottom. At number 1, as always, and this will probably be best in slot for every single spec, Amantul's Vision, aka Legendary Trinket that drops from Argus. Norganon's prowess will get better every week you upgrade the damn thing and as more people in your raid group will start to use the trinket to trigger the Pantheon's ability. Unstable Arcano Crystal is still good, who would have thought? Accurate Catalyst Injector is a fine trinket and it's hard to pronounce. Prototype Personal Decimator, ideal for fights with adds and even single target. Sheet of Azara, also a decent choice. Terminus Signaling Beacon can be good. Vitality Resonator, a trinket that I haven't had the chance to play with, but it seems really good. Last but not least, shouldn't you have any of the above trinkets, thanks to the amazing RNG, Tarnished Sentinel Medallion and Terror from Below are still solid choices. Let's go over the talents. As with the Eternal Void build, the only two talent tiers that will make a difference when playing the Glacial Spike build are the tier 60 and 90 talents. The tier 60 talent is going to be Splitting Ice, as always. We never ever take Frozen Touch. For the tier 90 talent, Unsale Magic is the one that will give you the most damage when we play with the Glacial Spike build. When there is a boss where the adds don't melt right away, you can pick Arctic Gale. Of course for Mythic Plus, Splitting Ice and Arctic Gale are your best choices. Oh yeah, and in the last tier we take Comet Storm. No, I'm kidding, we take Glacial Spike, obviously. Going over the different tier set combinations. This bought a tier to my eye, but the new tier 21 is really, really bad for the Glacial Spike build because the tier 21 force set evolves heavy around getting those big ice lands hits, while the Glacial Spike build is all about making your Glacial Spike hit as hard as you can. I was really excited for the tier 21 force set bonus until Blizzard nerfed the force set bonus in like October, a few weeks before Antorus was released. Before the nerf, Frostbolt got an insane damage boost from the tier 21 force set bonus, so I do hope they fix the problem with tier 21 force set because it only seems to favor the Terminal Void build. Nonetheless, should you still be interested in doing over 15 million Glacial Spy crits, then here are the possible tier set combinations. Number 1, tier 24 piece with tier 21 2 piece. And number 2, exclusively with the tier 24 set. Last but not least, you can also play around with the tier 19 2 set bonus on a tier 24 set piece. Do keep in mind that you need a high warforged piece. Oh, and one final thing I would like to add is the following. In the future we will get really high item level gear that will most likely outweigh those tier 20 pieces. However, I still advise to at least play with a tier 22 piece and a tier 21 2 piece. Before we get into the rotation, here are some rules you should be aware of first. Rule number 1, and this is a very important one, when you have less than 3 stored icicles and you get a brain freeze proc, 
consume the Brain Freeze proc with a Frostbolt Instant Flurry Ice Lance. If you have a buff tree stored icicles and you get a Brain Freeze proc, then keep it to shatter your Glacial Spike. However, during the opener and especially when Bloodless is used on pull, I only use the Brain Freeze proc to shatter my first two Glacial Spikes. After our opener, you apply the Brain Freeze rule to the rotation. Rule number 2. Because we use the tier 24 set, we want to front load everything into that Frozen Orb window. This occurs on the opener and when Frozen Orb and Ebon Bolt are about to come off cooldown. This is the reason why the tier 22 and 4 set bonuses are so amazing. Because we can let our Glacial Spike crit without a Brain Freeze proc, thanks to the 20% increased crit chance from our Frozen Orb. But hold on, it becomes even juicier. If you have a Glacial Spike ready with a Brain Freeze proc and a Frozen Orb at the same time, you will do an insane amount of damage. I have seen my Glacial Spikes crit for over 15 million. Okay, so as always in this part of the video I'll talk and play at the same time and I will show you the rotation for the uh, Frost Mage Glacial Spike build. So talking over the Glacial Spike build and the stats first, um, you can see I play, this is my gear setup, I sim the highest uh, DPS with this gear setup which is a combination of tier 24 set with the tier um, 21 2 set. Um, going over the stats real fast, you got your Shadow Cap which is the most important thing. Uh, but do take note that Catalyst Injector, the Trinket from Mentoris, will help you in um, getting that Shadow Cap without having like 33.44%. Having 31% is fine because you will get like more crit haste than mastery when the fight is um, is ongoing. So um, I know it's really it's really hard right now to um, if you have so many gear uh, slots taken by either tier pieces or um, or uh, legendaries. But hey, it's the neck and ring slots that are free. So those give you a reasonable amount of stats to still play around with. Um, talking a little bit about Mastery, Mastery isn't that strong anymore for Glacial Spy because it got nerfed back into Mr. Garrus because everybody was switching from those uh, from Thermal Void to Glacial Spike because Mastery was really really good for Glacial Spike but it's not that good anymore so uh, for stats it's Shadow Cap and then Haste Versa um, and at some point like Versatility will take over like with the um, Thermal Void build. Okay, so first there are a few rules that you need to take into account for before we do the rotation. And there are like three different phases. Uh, the first phase I will show you guys is our opener and during the Icy Veins opener, I was talking about the Brain Freeze uh, proc rule that you either, when you're uh, underneath like three Icicle stacks, you um, consume the Brain Freeze proc with a Frostbolt into that flurry in an Ice Lance. But I don't do that during the um, during the opener. During the opener, because of icy vents and everything goes really, really fast, I keep my brain freeze and I keep it solely f for the sole purpose of shattering my glacial spike. I don't use it uh, when I'm underneath like those three stacks. I don't use it with a frost bolt in that flurry proc ice lance. I don't do that. I only do that when um, icy vents runs out. So how does the opener look? It's a pre-pod and then you go into your frost bolt then it's icy veins frozen orb even bolts shatter even bolts try to reach those stacks as fast as possible right now you're at five stacks you glacial spike flurry dump any ice lances not too much because you're still into that icy veins and then it's right now i got the proc but it goes it just goes so fast you're going to glacial spike and you dump your ice lances and right now you're in the second phase. This is the second phase where the rule does apply. So right now you're just trying to go to those five stacks. Glacial Spike, if you have nothing, it's Glacial Spike Ice Lance. Right now we do dump the, um, the uh, uh, Brain Freeze proc. And you can see this is the third phase that I was talking about, where you have Frozen Orb and Ebon Bolt that are coming off cooldown. And right now it's basically Frozen Orb, Ebon Bolt, Shatter Even Bolt, Ice Lance, then it's Glacial Spike into an Ice Lance if you don't have that Brain Freeze proc. And that's that's the rotation. So right now, underneath three, consume that Brain Freeze proc with the Frost Bolt. And there are the three different phases. So just to recapitulate, so you have the phase during your opener, which is basically which is basically ignore the Brain Freeze proc rule. Go as fast as you can and do as much damage during icy veins. So icy veins, this means like your first two, um, your first two glacial spikes, 
when you did those first two glacial spikes, you go into the phase where you do apply the brain freeze proc rule. Should you have any fingers of frost procs, you can dump them at the end of your glacial spike as always. And then you go into the um, third phase, which is the phase where if you have those five icicle stacks and your frozen orb and even bolt are about to come off cooldown, you launch your frozen orb at the target, you shatter your even bolt, followed by that shattering, hopefully, of your um, glacial spike. And if you can't shatter your glacial spike, you just go with a glacial spike ice lance. Um, okay, so I will show you guys how do you, uh, how much that we critted. Right now, the uh, highest crit that we did was a 12.86 million crit. Okay, so I will show you guys the rotation when it goes really fast. So let's just clear the um, the damage meter. So if it goes really fast and everything goes as planned, that's re it's, it's a really nice spec to play. So it's pre-pot. And then it's a frost bolt, icy veins, even bolt, shatter even bolt, and then you just go as fast as possible. Five stacks, shatter your glacial spike, frost bolt, frost bolt, ignore the brain freeze proc right now, get the brain freeze proc, shatter it. And right now you can see we're going just so fast. You apply the rule right now if you get that brain freeze proc. Okay, there you go, and it's a brain freeze proc shatter. Dump your ice lances. Right now you can see Frozen Orp is coming off cooldown because we had so much luck. But we we are going to keep that one. Shadow Red because Even Bolt is coming off cooldown next. Otherwise you're going to have this this like really weird um, overflow for the entire fight. So right now we just keep it. Frozen Orp, Even Bolt. Shatter your Even Bolt. And this is really good. This is a... Glacial Spike with Frozen Orb and you shatter it and you dump your Ice Lances. So as you can see right here, like the damage is going to be pretty high. And as you take a look at the hits, like you again, 12.92 million. So that's really good. It does a lot of damage. It's really nice to play with uh, the Glacial Spike build. It gives a lot of satisfaction if you crit really high with those Glacial Spike builds. Um, and that's basically the rotation. That is all for this video, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I live stream on Twitch every weekday, so be sure to check it out. Links are in the description. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.